Welcome back to Voiding Warranties. Have you ever created something out of a whole bunch of used parts that you just sewed together and then suddenly you have something that the villagers are afraid is going to come and burn down their village? I did that. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> No, no, really, it, it, it's live, it's a battery, you can't unplug it. it, it's always got power. That's one of the scariest parts. This is Franken battery. It's made up of 168 used lithium ion cells I scavenged from laptop batteries, and it's terrifying. I mean, honestly. I have a charge controller in there, and I'm running the batteries well underrated for what they are, but it's still about 100 amp hours at 24 volts, which is insane. The reason I did this is to provide power to this UPS. This is going to eventually battery back my computers. Today, I'm gonna to be load testing it with this here pressure cooker and checking temperature on the individual cells to make sure this thing is not gonna catch on fire. Let's see what happens. All right, it's drawing just under 300 watts, and let's see how long it lasts. What was that? The UPS is overheating. How am I ever going to get a good load test if this thing just kicks off after a minute? You know what? The answer is more cooling. I'm going to add some more cooling fans to this UPS and I'll be back to retest Franken battery.
Alright, let's try load testing this thing one more time and see what happens. Okay, load it up. Yep, I can see it has some load there. It's putting out good voltage. Everything is happy. And... So far so... Well, I said it. Let's try it one more time. Hmm, turn on please. Guess it is on. Well, the lights are on. Maybe this is a battery voltage issue. I mean, this thing was designed for lead-acid batteries, and this is not exactly a lead-acid battery. Not by any stretch of the imagination, so uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what voltage is. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, well, that's not bad, but, uh, I think we may have a voltage issue here. Reading about 26 volts, and that should be charged for a lead-acid battery, but the UPS does some weird things with regard to, uh, determining state of charge. Oh, yeah, almost tried my hand at arc welding again. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. 26.12 volts. Well, that's not bad, but that's not good. There is a charge controller on the battery bank, and that might be kicking it out. Let's see if we can measure voltage with the UPS running. Oh, it's loaded up. But voltage is dropping, still about 12.5 per battery, so that should be completely acceptable. And then it goes away without any warning. Huh. Well, failure is always an option, especially when I'm building something, and this is turning into a failure pretty quickly. But you know what? That's okay. It's been fun to build. It'll actually work as a battery backup as long as they don't have a power outage more than about a minute. And I do have one trick up my sleeve. Maybe if I wait until this thing is fully charged and then try it again, maybe I'll get better results. Until then, if you like this video, please click like. And if you want to see more of them, I don't know, click subscribe. You've probably been doing this longer than me, so you know the drill. Bye.